More on the eighth overall pick. We'll send it back over to Joe, who is now joined by Matt Bovee. All right, thanks very much, Nick. Uh, Matt Bovee, you've been firmly in the camp of Middlestat being a pleasant surprise for the Sabres if he was there at eighth overall. Why was that? What kind of player are they getting in Casey Middlestat? Well, he's just a versatile guy who brings so much to the table, and he has absolutely just an absurd amount of talent. He can actually play center and left wing, which is nice because the Sabres need some forwards down the pipeline. Now, the knock on Middlestat is that he needs to get stronger, like Nick talked about, but he's a great skater with glorious hands, and he <laughs> won't give in. He won't give in. He's a scrappy two-way forward who is actually pretty good in his own end defensively. I love that the Sabres went with their top player, play that music, and they didn't force themselves into taking a defenseman. Middlestat gives the Sabres versatility like we talked about, and I see him on Jack Eichel's wing in a few years, add him to the core that the Sabres have, and they've got some pretty promising things in the works. All right, so there's a lot to like about the pick. <laughs> Listen, our, our director, Aaron Pike, is unlike any, anybody else. Inside but, jokes, inside jokes, uh, for sure. All right, thanks, Matt. He's got a bunch of stuff up at WKBW.com, including what might happen tomorrow on day two of the draft for the uh, Buffalo Sabres. This is what happens when the three of you guys <laughs> are in a room too long together with pizza are, and an NHL draft. Are you trying Things to get say out that there's control. something wrong with this? <laughs>